Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Nuzlocke. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and take on Giovanni and, I guess, save the president? But before I do anything, I do want to let you guys know, or at least show you guys, our only team members are Claw and Lapras. I don't really know why I have Lapras following me, I want to go with Claw, but as you can see, Claw is way too big for the place, so I'm interested to see how big that boy is by the end of it. Also, I did forget to name uh, Lapras, actually, so let me just give Lapras a name. Hmm. It's blue, like a blueberry, but also like the Loch Ness Monster. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> I was thinking bring, but nah. Um. You know what? I'm just going to name it Candy. And that will be a segue up to what I want to talk about. So, essentially, I already tried to make a recording. Got to about the Giovanni talking to the president thing. Which, I guess I want to talk to you about that during a battle, but... Too late now, I brought it up. But essentially, uh... Yeah, I got to the point in which Giovanni and the President were talking. And then I did the rookie mistake again of not plugging in my PC before I recorded. So, it decided to turn off, which then I would have had to make a cut. But since I never actually did any, like, Pokemon battling... Boom! I could just restart from here. And that also means that I can do a lot... Well, a better job summarizing what I was talking about before the fight. Which was basically... Summarization of what exactly I'm doing. I am doing a Nuzlocke. So, any Pokemon I faint or consider dead... You gotta also give uh, each of your team members you catch a new name... Uh, a name, so you get a bond with them. And you can only catch, well, you can only catch one Pokemon in each new route. If that Pokemon runs away or faints, you forfeit that encounter. However, I have a bonus rule called Magikarp Rules, just for Let's Go. Which, as you can see, I got like over the amount of Pokemon for a route, right? Well, my rule is that you can only get, ten, you can only encounter 10 Pokemon in each route. Since you don't battle wild Pokemon, um, catching them is pretty much how you get experience. However, the encounter limit is 10, and the first Pokemon you um, catch is the person you add to your team. So if I didn't want to get another Rattata because I already have one, and it takes up to 4 Pokemon for me to not get a Rattata, that still counts towards my 10 Pokemon limit. So I can't be too picky, but at the same time, I'll be able to get experience as well. So if Pokemon runs away, that still counts as an encounter. If I decide to forfeit an encounter to try and get the new one, that also counts. So 10 encounters, each new route, first Pokemon I catch, add to the team. As you can see by the death count, I'm not doing very hot. So, Kingler's pretty much a member we caught in, like, three episodes ago, and he's pretty much the oldest member of the team. I did have Puff, but during the grinding montage, Puff fainted, so... Yeah, that kinda happened. But out of that, that was just a summarization real quick of what exactly I'm doing. Oh, and with the rules as well too, candy jar. I can't use any one of these candies because that'd be kind of cheap if I like used all the Eevee candies on Eevee and made it like super OP. However, the only candy I can use is rare candy. Cause just like all the other games, rare candy, level up a Pokemon, boom, done. Hardly able to find rare candies, so. 
That's the only exception. Oh, and one last bonus rule I added in, just for let go. I'm not allowed to use my starter. Mainly because it kind of gets overpowered. It's overpowered at the beginning of the game, especially with the moves it can learn, and the fact that it has perfect IVs. IVs, EVs, basically being what makes a Pokemon a Pokemon. It's the best EV out of all EVs. Unless you train up EVs, but that's another story. So yeah, basically that's all summarization, and let's just jump into Giovanni fight. Okay, Giovanni, I am ready. Now, now, Mr. President. I hope you're not thinking of lying to me. The Master Ball. You successfully created one, didn't you? Do you think it was easy to make? And now that I know who you really are, there's no way I want to make a thing like that. Not for someone like you. How dare you. And give up any thought of forcing us to create lots of powerful Pokemon for you. Using stolen research to create Pokemon. That's not something Silk should ever do. We had a deal. You agreed to this. You're a smart man. I'm sure you can imagine what will happen to your people if you say no to me now. Ah, young Mike. So we meet again. The President of Stealth and I are discussing a vital business proposal. Keeping nose out of growing up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Okay, I let off with Claw because not only is he the highest level, he should be super effective against lots of his Pokemon. Persing is not one of them. Okay, Claw, show them your big, meaty Claw. Level 39 as well, huh? Um... Let's just try and knock it out real quickly. We have like all the claw hammers. And of course they use the fake out, huh? Okay, that, that's good though. We have claw hammer, we have high physical defense. We got this. And we have super high attack. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, now we can go for Skull. Flash has a high critical hit ratio, so I'm hoping he doesn't land a critical hit. There we go. Get out of my base, Furthing. I think that was literally one of the only challenges. Keep battling. Okay, I, I think most of Giovanni's team will be physical attackers. So if we so if we can tank the hits, we should be able to handle this fight pretty easily. As long as he doesn't for some reason have a magneton or magnemite. My goodness, their things are so so irritating. Especially since they're our weakness too, you know? It's just not cool. Okay. Big meaty claw hammer. Oh yeah, Claw Hammer also has a high critical hit ratio. Just in case you guys want to know. And I love high critical hit ratios and flinching. So flinching doesn't really work well for me, but flinching nonetheless. Okay, this is poison ground, so Claw Hammer should do a lot. We do out speed. Can we get a critical hit for a nice win? No, we can't. Body slam. My guy, don't you dare. Sweet. Alright, we got this in the bag, we win. Skull. 
you know, it feels good to finally have a nice, relaxing, not pulling your hair out episode. Oh, jeez. Like the last five episodes were a nightmare. At last, I have little choice. It seems I will relinquish Sil for now. But, Team Rocket will never fall. Mike, never forget. All Pokemon exist for Team Rocket to use. I may leave you now, but we will meet again. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We, from the president on down, are in debt to you for what you did. Ah, oh, dear boy. Thank you for saving us here at Silk. Ha 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 ha! I suppose that's so. It wasn't just you. It was that wonderful partner of yours, too. I will never forget how you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. And I'm quite... magnanimous. What? Quite magnificent? Magnificent. I know, let's go. Magnificent. So, I can give you anything. Here. Maybe this will do. I got the ultimate power! You can't buy that anywhere. It has secret pro prototype the Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. Truthfully, we've only succeeded in making just the one. So, you should probably be quiet about using it. Yeah, I will, until I bring it to Professional Pokemon Elite 4 tournaments where I'll just whip it out with ease. Out of that, though, I got ya. Oh yeah, dang it. I was hoping to ask the question of the day during the battle. So... Question of the day, guys. Um... What do you guys think about the new Let's Play that I have popped up on the channel? Granted, the audio was bad at first, but I believe I slightly improved it, so... It's worth the time a little bit, anyway. Not to a huge degree, but a little bit. Now, before I do anything else, I wanna... Mike, you did it! You beat Giovanni, right? That anger guy made a run for it. So it chased him all the way out here, and then... All the Team Rocket Grunts ran right out of Silphron City, too! Just for lucky, you're such a strong trainer, Mike. Shiny, do not praise me. I have so many dead Pokemon. Don't do this, Shiny. To be honest, I was a little scared. Like, what would have happened to us if it turned out the bad guys were the strongest? You know? Shiny, you don't know what you're saying. The Nuzlocke would be over. But you and me, Mike, we really managed to save Silk. Nobody will have to go through the Q-Bone went through ever again. Alright, now that everything back to normal, I guess it's time for the next Pokemon Gym. Have you been to Saffron City Gym already, Mike? How many badges have you got? That many, huh? <laughs> wow. Maybe we'll both make it all the way to the Pokemon League. Let's both give it a best shot. See ya!
Oh yeah, he's a big boy. Look at that. That is not creepy at all. Huh. Did you get rid of all this Team Rocket thugs? Thank you so much. What do you say? You want to try a hand at raising a Pokemon created by Silk? I guess I do. Okay. So. The good news is, we got a Pokemon. The bad news is, I can't evolve it because I need to trade people to evolve and I can't do that. So, we just have a Porygon. How strong is it? Oh, it's just the strongest Lapras, boy. Well, what is your moves? Thunder Wave? Try to take a stab. Uh, this move I don't think we need. No. And Barrier. What is your defense like? Okay, so one barrier will make your special defense the same. Okay. You're not as fast as any of the other Pokemon. Yeah. Pretty good special attack, actually. Your attack is not so good, so I'll have you as a special attacker. And I don't like that. You don't have very high defenses either. Or HP. Huh. So you see, put him on the glass cannon with special attack. Okay, well, I'll worry about that off screen. What I do want to do now is heal my Pokemon. Oh, and then I do want to give uh, Porygon a name because that is a new team member. The sad thing is, two thirds of my party, pretty much two out of three Pokemon, are Pokemon that people gave me. I feel like the game is giving me pity right now for like all the Pokemon I knocked out. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, some of these trainers and Pokemon centers will trade you a Lolan form Pokemon for a regular form Pokemon. So yeah. Anyways, how are the healing, healing, blah, blah, blah. how are the healing items looking like? Yeah, so I gotta remember to buy some more hyper potions and full heals after. But for that, let's come up with a name for Porygon, cause he's a new team member. What's lame is the next few routes we can't really do anything because of the fact that. Uh, Well, I already went to all those routes. Oh man. I wonder where Koga is though. Like I, I think I have to I think it's best if I fight Koga first before I fight the psychic gym leader. So if I want to peek at the gym badges. I think the psychic gym leader is the sixth badge, right? I have no idea. I don't know why. I'm just thinking about Pogo. So... I'm gonna name him Pogo. Just cause. So yeah, today's episode was pretty much beat the heck out of Giovanni, explain the rules a bit, and uh, get a new team member. I don't like that though. Where exactly should I go next? Cause we already handled the fighting dojo, so like, we don't have to do that. I can take on the psychic gym leader. But knowing my team, I might want to get some levels first and then go take on Koga. So I guess in the next- wait, why the heck did I go back in the Pokemon Center? Wait, is there two Pokemon Center? No. Just Okay, my head extremely hurts now. Okay, so basically as I'm heading to the Pokemon shop, um, thank you guys for watching. My game plan is essentially to figure out what I'm doing next and do a grinding montage. 
So without further ado guys, remember to tackle that subscribe button, splash around the likes, and don't forget, it's okay to flail sometimes.